What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Eric and this is my channel about tech, photography, and sometimes travel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what's in my tech travel bag. In a few days, I am headed to Europe for about a month, so I'm gonna be showing you what is in my tech travel bag and what I bring along. In a previous video, I showed you what I carry on a regular basis, but typically on a trip like this, I bring a lot more gear than I do on a daily basis, so I'm gonna show you why. Um, and that's another reason why I have a different bag. Um, the everyday carry bag is a little bit smaller, which was the Low Pro Freeline. So for the past two years, I've been traveling full time with this bag. It is the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW2. And I really love this bag for travel. It can fit a ton of stuff in it and it's still super comfortable to wear. It's also very durable. The one thing I do dislike about the bag is the style. It's not really my style. I really like a clean bag that's a little bit more stylish than this, but um, it does serve function so I can definitely put up with it. So this bag has been out for quite a while now, so you may have watched other reviews on it. Um, it's not really a review on the bag, but I will tell you a little bit about it. So on the outside of the bag, it has a bunch of webbing on it. So that's meant to attach different attachments on the outside, whether it be like a tripod or a water bottle holder, which it does come with a couple different attachments. Um, it comes with this little pouch right here, which it's an extra pouch on there. And then inside this pouch, there are two straps, a tripod, leg holder, and a water bottle holder. I typically don't use any of these besides the tripod holder to um, attach my gimbal to. But I do use the straps to kind of secure the bag. I have these locking carabiners and so you can just, uh, you know, hook the loops of the zippers on there so nobody can get into the bag. I do use this in like areas that are more prevalent to pickpocketing. I will just lock down the bag because the bag is pretty easy to get into since it has two side axis pockets. So one on this side and one on this side. It has the top access up here and then it also has the back access. So it has quite a few ways to get into the bag, which is convenient, but it is kind of a security issue when you're in crowded areas and people can get into your bag. It also has two side pockets that has a key ring holder on this side and on the same pocket on this side. And then also the hard shell on the top, super nice, protects everything. The form factor, it's really padded, um, so it protects your gear really well. So when I'm traveling, I typically keep my keys in this side since it has the key ring, as well as my AirPods. And then on this side, I keep pen just in case you have to fill in any immigration forms out. And then a pair of corded headphones which I don't really know why I have in there because I never use them. I don't think I've ever used them since I've been traveling. Um, so I probably can get rid of those. Next, in the top part, I keep my an iPhone charger, the Sony noise-canceling headphones. They are the, the Sony WH-1000 Mark III's. Love these for the plane. Um, do a great job canceling noise. And then I also have my 11 inch iPad Pro in there, sunglasses, and a Morphe power bank. And then there's a pocket right here. There's actually a SD card slot right here. I never use that. Um, but in this pocket, I keep my passport and Apple Pencil. So quick, convenient access to that, but um, kind of hidden away up here in this top pocket. So I keep all these things in here because I typically use my iPad Pro, um, the power bank, and my headphones, and a charger on the plane. Um, so before I get into my seat, I can just pull these off the, out of the top, and then I'm able to um, throw this up in the overhead bin and then take these to my seat. All right, next, let's take a look inside the bag. It did take me quite a while to figure out a configuration um, in order to set this up the way I wanted to. Um, but once I did, it probably took me about an hour, an hour and a half, and it was super frustrating. But once I finally figured it out, I absolutely love the bag. So let's start. And you can access this top part from the back as well. I just have this set up where it's kind of a shelf. Um, you could put like a camera or whatever here, but I kind of like it as a shelf, so it kind of separates the bag out. And 
So right here I have the Peak Design slide camera strap. Um, I had an old one of these and actually it's all black right here because it melted, um, but I got a new one. They gave me a warranty on the old one, so I got the brand new one, which this has a little bit different design. So tends to be working out better now. Um, I carry two hard drives. They're two two terabyte Seagate slim hard drives. In here, I have the cords, a variable neutral density filter, Mavic Pro battery, and then I also have a GoPro Hero 7 in here. I don't use the GoPro a lot, but it's nice to have along for a waterproof camera. And right below that, I have the Mavic controller and some variable neutral density filters for my drone. And in this section, I have it like sectioned off. I used to have um, a hard drive. I used the case because when I traveled full time, I had like six hard drives on me and I actually used the Mavic Air card case. I stuck that on top here. Um, since I don't have to bring all my hard drives now with me, um, I just keep this empty for an empty space. But I usually pull this out and then have the Mavic 2 Pro right in there. Next pocket over, I have, this is a mounting plate for the Ronin S and a headlamp just in case I get stuck in the dark or need to light something up. And then also I have the Peak Design wrist strap in case I don't want to use the whole strap. Um, I can just throw the wrist strap on there. Down here, I have some lens cleaner and a cloth. And then right in this section, 70-200, um, GM 2.8. And then down here, I have my camera. My camera is actually not accessible the way I have it set up in here from the top um, since I pull it out from the side. So I have another divider on top here so I can set something on here as well. So I'll, I'll always access my camera from the side pocket. And then I just have a few spare things right here. I might have some drone parts, some drone, uh, you know, like the spare propellers. Um, I do have like an emergency phone. It's an old like burner style phone, um, but it does work everywhere. It has a SIM, an inter international SIM, so it works anywhere. And it's a postpaid phone. So if I use it, then I just have to pay for it. So it's nice to carry around. Um, I have a remote for my camera that I never use. Couple batteries, a Sharpie, and that's pretty much it in there. And then my 15 inch laptop fits right in this pocket right here, which is this laptop that I use right here. And that's typically all I bring. One other thing about the bag, it does have on the bottom, it does have a rain cover, which has came in useful many times for me. Um, it kept my gear from getting soaked. And then the last thing I'll show you in the bag is my camera. And so I always access from the side. It's super easy to keep the bag on and then just take one strap off, swing it over, and grab your camera out of the side access. And then I also have the 70 to 200 on this side so I can access that if I want to switch lenses. But typically I have this lens on it. It is the Sony 24 to 70 2.8 GM lens on the A7 III body. Um, love this setup. And two other things that I bring on my trip, but I actually don't keep them on the bag, is I have a Ronin S um, gimbal, and I have a Manfrotto B-Free travel tripod. So I can strap those onto the side of the bag, like I mentioned with the straps and the tripod leg holder, but I typically don't. It's easier to throw them in my check bag, but I'll bring along the straps so then when I'm out exploring, then I can either strap on the tripod or strap on the gimbal. And that's typically all I bring on a longer trip. And also just to mention, I'm shooting this video on my new iPhone 11 Pro, still testing the camera. So look out for that video. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna continue seeing videos from me, definitely subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.